Hi year one, how are you today? You okay? Welcome to your RE lesson this week. Before we begin, I have some recap questions for you, okay? So I have two questions, these are on your worksheets. How many days did it take God to create the world? Can you remember from our creation stories last week? Was it six, ten or seven? I want you to circle the right one. And then I'd like you to match the holy text to the correct religion. So I've got the Bible, the Torah and the Quran. And can you match it to which one belongs to the Jewish faith, which one belongs to the Muslim faith and which one belongs to the Christian faith? Pause the video here and have a go at that now. Welcome back. Should we mark together? OK, have you got a pencil and you can tick it if you've got it right? And if you haven't, that's not a problem. You can just correct, circle the correct one or put the right lines to the correct word. OK, so how many days did it take God to create the world? Definitely wasn't six, wasn't seven, was it ten? Oh, I think it was seven, wasn't it? It took him six days, but in total, on the seventh day, that was the day he rested. And that was still important. So even though it took him six days to create, we have the cycle of seven days as his whole time. So match the holy text, the correct religion. So the Bible matches to the Christian faith and the Torah matches to the Jewish faith. And the Quran matches to the Muslim faith. Excellent. Well done if you've got those correct. OK, so our wonderful world topic. This week, we're going to be exploring the Hindu creation story. And this is very exciting. What I'd like you to do is obviously listen to our story. But at the end, we're really going to be thinking about what was the same as the creation story from last week? What was different and is it very different or just a little bit different? OK, shall we begin? Excellent. So lots of religions tell different stories to explain how the world was created. And different religions have different ideas and thoughts about how they believe the world was created. So Vishnu, Bar Brahma and Shiva, sorry, I don't know why I said that the wrong way then, <laughs> are all in the Hindu creation story. But who are they? Well, we're going to meet them now. So Vishnu, Brahma and Shiva. So Brahma is the creator, okay? And Vishnu looks after the world. Shiva is the destroyer. So let's have a look here. We've got, oh, let me move my picture there. We've got Shiva here, who is the destroyer. Hmm. I wonder what that means, destroyer. You don't think it means he's trying to destroy the world? Oh, maybe he is. That's not good, is it? Then we've got Vishnu. And Vishnu, he looks after the world. So he makes sure that everything is safe. Oh, he must be the protector, trying to make sure that Shiva doesn't come along and destroy it. Hmm. And then we've got Brahma, and he's the creator. So he is the person that creates all the things on the land and in the sea. Let's listen to the story. Oh. Okay. So there are lots of versions, let me move my picture there, of this, the Hindu creation story. Now, this version um, is from a Hindu religious text called the Vedas. Now, Hinduism teaches that time goes round in a circle and that the world will be endlessly created. So it never stops. So it was it was it's an ever going um, life form, I suppose. It's always moving and always evolving and it's never going to stop because it will just recreate itself again. OK. Now. Let me move my picture down here, and then I can read it to you. All right. Before time began, there was no heaven and no earth. There was nothing apart from a vast, dark ocean. Now, an ocean is a really big sea, isn't it? Floating on the, on the ocean was a giant cobra. Ooh. Vishnu was asleep within its safe, endless coils. So how it coiled round like this. And Vishnu was inside and it was he was asleep. 
and everything was peaceful, calm. Okay. Now remember, Vishnu is the protector, isn't he? Oh, when I move my picture, it doesn't let me uh, click. <laughs> From somewhere, a humming sound began. Um. It got louder and filled the emptiness. Um. Vishnu woke up. A magnificent lotus flower grew from his belly button and the lotus flower opened and revealed Brahma. How amazing. Can you see there? The lotus flower is coming from his belly button and up. And there is Brahma. And this is the beautiful lotus flower. And lotus flowers are often a symbol in Hinduism. And they open up and they're very, very beautiful. Vishnu said, it is time to begin. Create the world. And Brahma bowed. As the wind grew stronger, Vishnu and the snake vanished. But Brahma stayed in the lotus flower, floating on the waves. Brahma split the flower into three. He stretched one part into the heavens and another part into the earth. And then with the third part, he made the skies. So he had the heavens and the earth and then the sky in between. The earth was bare didn't have anything on there yet. So Brahma created the grass, the flowers, the trees and all the plants. And he gave them the gift of feeling. Do we think that plants can feel? Oh, well, I definitely think they can feel the wind. And they can feel the sunlight. And they can feel the cold. And they can feel the warmth. How amazing. Next, he created the animals and the insects, the birds and the fish. And he gave them the gift of sight, hearing, touch, smell and movement. That links to our five senses, doesn't it? Like what we have and we've been looking at in science. So now all the animals can see, they can hear. They can touch, they can smell, they can move. One day, Shiva will destroy this world like all the other worlds that came before it. When this happens, Vishnu will wake from his sleep in the vast dark ocean and a new world will be created. So when we think about that there, I'm just going to go back. Each time that Vishnu appears, um, Shiva, sorry, appears and Vishnu will wake up again, the same thing will happen again. And Brahma will come out of a lotus flower from Vishnu's belly button and open up and then he will create the heaven, the earth and the sky and he will create animals and the plants and that will happen again and again and again within the Hindu religion. So your task today is I would like you to fill out, so you have these, I'm just going to move my uh, picture right up there. You have these four comic strips, okay? And you're going to have a go at filling out either the speech bubbles or the thought bubbles in the pictures. So you've got a little bit of text there to help you, but then you're going to fill out, hmm, what is he thinking? What's Vishnu thinking whilst he is calm? on the vast ocean here as well when um uh sorry when uh, brahma came to vishnu what did vishnu and brahma say to each other and then here what is Vish uh, brahma thinking as he started to split the lotus flower into three what do you think he was thinking there and what do you think he was thinking when he decided to create the animals now, that's your first part of your task. When you have done that, okay. Well, in fact, if I get you to pause the video here, then I want you to come back 
So I've got a little bit more I want to talk to you about. So should we pause, pause the video? You go and have a go at doing your work, then come back because I've got some more things. Okay, welcome back. I hope you had great fun doing that. So I want you to think about how is the Hindu creation story similar to the Jewish, Christian and Muslim story? How is it different? Were the same things created? Hmm. Was it in the same way that it was created in the first creation story that we listened to? Did it happen in a different way? What was different? Who came first? Hmm. How did it work? Did it have a time frame? That means, did it have a certain amount of days or hours? Or do we not know? So what I'd like you to do, you're going to have a go then on the second part now of your worksheet, is to write down what is the same as a creation story from last week and what's different. Now, if you've forgotten that, you can go back to the video from last week and have a listen to that one all over again. Remember, we had the two stories. We had the one from the Christian faith and we had the one from the Muslim faith. So you can listen to those two stories again and listen to this one and compare them. And that will really help you to work out what's the same and what's different. Now you have fun doing that year one and you take care now and I shall see you very soon. Bye now.